Jesus was speaking last week at the Sermon on the Mount. He was so excited for me to hear what my future was all about. And today I thought about his words, trying to be the salt of the ground. And you're probably worried with the world. That's the reason why we doubt. He's so much greater than me. He's everything I can't live without. Today I thought about his words. Cause how could I worship anyone else? And I know we aren't perfect, but there's a bigger purpose why we do things. And I just can't imagine how he feels when my attitude is wrong. He said what makes us so blessed is his love. He said forever, now God's actions line up with me. And the devil is so tired of hearing how much happier we are. But I don't feel sorry for them. They'll never know how blessed we are with you. Today I thought about his words and pictured being the light of the world like you. And I know we aren't perfect, but there's a bigger purpose why we do things. Oh, and I just can't imagine how God feels when my attitude is wrong. I guess you mean my light is used to show God in me. He said forever, so now God's actions line up with me. <laughs> that was good. That was fine. All lights, salt hides. I see his face in the young ones. Old ones can't walk past a city that isn't lit, fully lit. Cause I still forever love you guys. But there's a bigger purpose why we do things And I can't even imagine how he feels when my attitude is wrong Cause you use my light to emphasize God is in me <clears throat> Hey guys, Natalie I'm Ansley Yay! Um, we just filmed that little video for you, a little music video, a little fun. Um, and it's kind of relating to our topic of Jesus talking about, um, talking at the Sermon of the Mount. And he mentions how we are the salt of the ground and the light of the earth. Um, and we'll just dive into that for a little bit. So in this lesson, we're going to kind of go a little bit into the song, not necessarily in the song, but just kind of talk about what the song talks about. And... So this is kind of like the epilogue of the Beatitudes, the Sermon on the Mount. It's our third and last week of it. And um, so what God or what Jesus was kind of saying that whole time was, you know, there's a certain, there's a purpose to everything you do, whether you think there is or not, especially when it's um, like God's way. There's a purpose to God's way. And a lot of the times people like to take shortcuts. Everyone takes shortcuts. It's easier. God's way is not the easy way. But a lot of the times you find that those shortcuts actually take longer than the original route. And you actually don't realize that if you knew what the, what was really at stake, you would have taken it more seriously. And also in our song, um, we kind of talked about Jesus. And when we have the wrong attitude, we 
aren't really looking up towards Jesus. And when we have the right attitude in regard to who we are in relation to God and who we are in relation to the world and who we are in relation to each other, we are happier. And it isn't the shortcut that Ansley was talking about. It's God's way. And when we respect God, um, we love him and he loves us back. In the video, we had some random videos um, but some of them had some purposes um, in a funny way, like Scott putting salt on his cereal because he thought that it was better with salt. Um, not literally, hopefully. But um, we had a lot of videos of like some salt shakers and stuff, and then some videos of lights and lights turning on and stuff like that. Um, and we'll have some verses to explain why we kind of did that. So um, we have Matthew 5, 13 that says, You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown away and trampled underfoot. Yeah, and um, that's kind of talking about how to be salt is to be preserved and to protect. Um, and kind of just um, like having Jesus and protecting him and protecting his word and showing other people what Jesus is. And then our next verse um, is... Matthew 5, 14 through 15, and it says, You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand, and it gives light to everyone in the house. So, you know, light, it's, it's more obvious in the salt metaphor because light is ever going, whereas salt was much a much different thing in back in those days. But salt or light tr tends to symbolize like truth, purity, and it just kind of draws attention to things, which is exactly what Jesus wants us to do to him is he wants us to draw attention to him and he wants us to live out his life, his light through us. Yeah. Um, and back to the salt thing, in, in the video we were like in the mirror, like doing our eyelashes or doing our hair or whatever, and salt, it's texture and it's makeup. Um, and it's it's taste from different from anything different from anything else sorry um and its value was so so important back in jesus's day um and he wanted us to feel the value of salt and be salt um and with light it kind of shows how in the song we said uh a city a city is bright or something like that um i made the lyrics and i don't even remember and um <laughs> and this city metaphor that Jesus is saying um, is kind of saying like we can't hide our love for Jesus and he doesn't want us to. Um, he, want us, he wants us to bring out our light and our light being God in our faith. Um, so to kind of wrap it all up, our blessedness isn't just for our own benefit. As much as you would like to reap all the benefits from being godly, you know, it's also for Jesus, obviously. It, it reaps, Jesus sees it and he it glorifies him. He's so happy when he sees you being godly. And then, it, and there's also, you know, the world. I mean, if you're being a good person, if you're being forgiving to everyone, if you have grace, the world's going to be a better place. You're going to spread happiness, you're going to spread joy, and the world's going to be a better place. And then you as a person will also benefit in obvious ways. Yeah, um, and I just want you guys to know that Jesus is so ready for you to show your light and to be the salt in the world um, and to give a little bit of texture and to um, just go ahead and question the people who don't know God and be like, hey, do you want to? Um, and go out to people and be the light um, and give verses and put them on your story or whatever and just show people that you love God because that's what he wants from us. Um, and that's what Jesus said on the Sermon on the Mount. And I, we really hope you enjoyed our video. It took a really long time. <laughs> um, <laughs> and it's kind, of, it's kind of a fun week with a little bit of a lesson if you really look into it. But um, look at the video cl clips. Not all of them are metaphorical but most of them are they all have <sighs> symbolism oh yeah they're all really beautiful um so yeah enjoy and don't forget to add a little bit of spice yes always